on wax off. Welcome to the Movie Brothers. I am Wojo. This is JP. And today we reviewed the government ideas The Dictator. Oh my god, we do have to get that little sign, don't we? <laughs> <laughs> hey, you couldn't tell there's people moving around in the house right now because we're not shooting this at our normal hour of really fucking late. <laughs> anyway, we are reviewing The Dictator. That's right, yes. And no, it's not a porno. No, it's not. But what'd you think? I thought it was a uh, very Sasha Baron Cohen, which oh, is absolutely. good because it was Sasha Baron Cohen. Exactly. He was doing his thing in this movie, and wow, it was <laughs> it was something else. Again, the character. Again, he comes up with a very funny, interesting character. He does his funny shit, and it's pretty interesting. And the story, this one's very political. Oh, and unlike the other two, it's not dealing with real life people. It's it's all fictional. Yeah, I was gonna say that that's it's new. For him, whereas it's not, you know, normal people who don't know that this is a movie. It's actually a movie this time. It's with, you know, it has actors and it's all, there's a script and everything like that. So it is different for him, but I think he pulled it off well. And it was pretty funny, too. It was very funny, actually. But prepare to be offended is all I have to say. Be very, very yes. offended during this movie. But that's no also his kind are. of style, too. Oh, sure. That's, that's Sasha Baron Cohen's style. I of. think you're expecting to be offended, but, I mean, this this movie pretty much it takes it over the top, too, a lot, which all of his movies have so far. So it's nothing really different for him as far as how politically incorrect he can actually get. But it, it is, is a very political movie, too. It is. It's very, well, And not obviously. just for the reasons you think. It's kind of like... Although at the end they kind of get very, they start, I think I like the ending that one part where like you everybody's kind of like laughing at it, but uh, you kind of sit there and go, I think there's a part where they start beating it over the head with the message of the movie. Well, yeah, I think that he does get the point across in a comical way, um, but you do by the end of the movie understand why he made the movie, I think, and. Uh, you know what his message is from this movie. It's it's funny, but it's also you can understand the uh, underlying point really. And uh, he does a good job, though. I think it was it was pretty funny from the, it started off. I don't know how funny it was in the beginning, but then it got it got better as as the movie went on. Though definitely, definitely a funny movie. Absolutely. Now I want to bring up an issue that I have with this movie, and it's not because of the the racial motivations or political. You know, yeah, yeah, sisterhood bullshit. My issue with this movie is that this is the problem with every Sasha Baron Cohen movie. They overdo the advertising. I go into every Sasha Baron Cohen movie knowing half the movie. It's true. And I would have wanted to see this movie from the first trailer. They since they released the first trailer, which I think they released like last year. There have been so many things of like they've been they released so many different like clips of the movie it's gotten to the point where i'm like dude i know what the movie's about a lot of it yeah actually a lot of it like you know you already know that he gets it's from the trailer you already know that he gets like kidnapped and he gets you know taken away from his palace or whatever and his and his power that's something that i would have liked to have been a surprise and have it go on a this different twist i don't know if i would have liked you know, to have feel that like, told to me, a major plot point in, just in the trailer. I feel like, especially since you know it's Sasha Baron Cohen, and you know that, okay, a lot of people want to come see him, why over-advertise it? Why show too much of the movie? That's where this movie failed, because I went in there, and most of the funny parts I already laughed at or already true. seen. I mean, there Same were, thing with, uh, I mean, this one, a little was less. There, was a lot, there were a lot more, and there were a lot more parts I didn't see. Than right. most of his other movies, where it's like Bruno, especially Borat. Borat, you've seen pretty much every clip. There yeah. was like two. There were two scenes in Borat that I had not seen before that movie. Everything else, it, it basically, if you clip together all the preview trailers and all that stuff, and all the clips released on Xbox, you could have a full feature length movie. That's true. Yeah, and you know the the clips from the trailer uh, were a lot of it too, but also the clips. You know, cut out parts of it that made it funnier than what it was uh, just watching the trailer because they can't say the things they do with the actual movie mm -hmm. just for the trailer for everybody. But still, you're right though. There was it does give away a lot of plot 
points and a lot of the funny parts. That it comes to jokes. It. Well, it it's comes to it, and you're like, box. oh, okay. It's jokes. Like, it comes to the part, and you're like, all right, I already know what's going to happen. Like, the, it isn't that funny. So that is that is pretty disappointing. I think if all they showed, the if they only showed the original trailer, which was him, you know, coming in, you know, doing the parade thing, and the one part with, uh, uh, what's her name, the actress that was in the movie for two seconds. Megan Fox. Megan, Megan Fox, there we go. If they only showed the original trailer, which include those clips, I would have gone seen this movie. I would have went to see this movie and came out of it laughing my ass off because of what they did with the tr- uh, with all this. I kind of got annoyed. Yeah. What What do you think? Go see the movie. Since there's not really any other comedies out, I would say yeah. Uh, only because there's not really anything to compete with it. It's true. There's not. A whole I would lot say to- I would rather have seen this than Dark Shadows. Because oh, Dark yeah. Shadows Absolutely. Had, had a tone issue. Yeah. And as of right now, as of when this movie's coming out, there aren't really any other comedies that not, I can think of. Not that I know of. Not coming out this week. And, you know, and again, yes, go see this instead of Dark Shadows, because that wasn't that great. But... If there was a... You know, I can't wait to see Ted. Uh, I think that's going to be really funny. Oh, yeah, Hopefully absolutely. they haven't released all the funny parts of that movie. <laughs> right. But, uh... I would say... If there was another thing, if, if you could wait, I would wait. I would wait to go see this. I, I, honestly, like, because of what I know and because of what I'm telling everybody, uh, I would wait to go see it on DVD only because, like, most of it you've seen. It's true. I mean, I'd say I'd say go see it in the theaters. Just because. if you're looking for a comedy right now, if you don't have anything else, movies, yeah, if you're looking for something to do this weekend and you're bored. And you've already seen, it. like, all the other... Big, all the other big movies so far that have come out before this This is one. kind of the only real comedy that's in theaters right now. Yeah, so, so go see it if you're... If because you, like you have that. no other choice. Well, yeah. And I think it would be worth your time. It was funny. Like I said, obviously, it's a movie where you're going to be offended, but you kind of have to leave that at the door and just go and just laugh and have fun and just forget about all your political issues that you may have personally because that's that's all going to get made fun of in this movie. It's it's pretty good. So yeah, go see it. Yeah. So anyway, go see it. Let us know how you thought of it. Leave us a comment. Uh, like the video if you want to like it, if you think we're good. If you don't think we're good, you can even dislike it. Subscribe. You never know. Maybe we have a video coming out that you may want to watch. It's true. Check us out. Oh, and like us on Facebook. Do that too. That, that's the most important one. Like us on Facebook. That's right. Because we're very lonely on Facebook. Yeah.